Now, some of that damage is hard to calculate because it's not just about what's damaged, but what could have been. Coming into August, Louisiana's rice crop looked to be a record breaking year. Acreage was up, the growing season was favorable, and the early yields were strong. However, as Twyla's Carl Wigger shows us, the tropical systems that pummeled the state have taken their toll on rice. This is what the Vermilion Parish rice crop looked like in July. Fortunately for many rice farmers, they enjoyed excellent yields for the crop, according to LSU Ag Center rice specialist Dustin Harrell. We were on par to have probably our second highest yielding uh, state average in rice uh, ever. And so that's how good the crop was this year. Harrell and LSU Extension agents across the state estimate that 95% of the rice crop was harvested ahead of Hurricane Laura. Uh, the damage at that time that we estimated was about $28 million uh, worth of damage. That included damage to the rice crop that was still remaining, damage to the return crop, and the biggest damage from Laura was infrastructure. Infrastructure damage in southwest Louisiana included rice bins, damaged harvest equipment, or structures where that equipment is stored. One farmer lucky enough to finish harvesting his rice ahead of Hurricane Laura was Vermilion Parish farmer Mark Devonport. His above average first crop was important because he has not been as lucky with his ratoon or second crop, which was maturing as Laura made landfall. Yes, yeah, second crop was growing um, during Hurricane Laura and a lot of the damage was caused during Hurricane Delta. Because of the high wind, we had shattering of the rice that fell off the panicles. Um, didn't have as much lodging from a return crop because it's going to stand a little better. Probably about half our return crop has been harvested and the other half is going to be affected with the yield loss. Devonport has seen that yield loss in his fields, cutting the crop to half of what it was before Hurricane Delta blew through. We did harvest before Delta. We harvested about 140 acres and uh, it yielded very good, I think around 19. And we only harvested 50 acres since Hurricane Delta and it yielded about half around 10. We have reports from some growers that have very little damage. Um, and it's probably just where their field's situated. Uh, and the variety that they grew is where we have others that were hit pretty significantly. Uh, and on average, those that were hit pretty hard are about 50% uh, or more in some cases yield damage. While Hurricane Laura was worse for infrastructure, Harold estimates that Hurricane Delta caused significantly more crop damage to the remaining ratoon crop. When Laura came, we had pretty much harvested everything in southwest Louisiana and the return was still too early to do damage. Now we did have a considerable amount of damage of the first crop in Northeast Louisiana. Delta came through, we we're ready to harvest our return crop. So all that grain that shattered uh, was lost in the return crop and that made up the bulk of our damage estimates for uh, Delta. The estimated damage from LSU is about $24 million. Add that to the $28 million from Hurricane Laura and that's a huge blow to a crop that is vital to Louisiana culture and cuisine. From Crowley, I'm Carl Wiggers for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. According to the LSU Ag Center, the Louisiana rice crop has a value of about $500 million with 476,000 acres of rice across the state.